Good luck to both of you. Buena suerte a los dos. Talk to them all. Reitas told us yesterday he wants to come out and test the younger Diaz. Put some pressure on him. Diaz always coming forward. He's coming in with his hands up, which is good. The free test. Diaz, who was born in Houston, sometimes I lose my patience. And the Mexican in me, the machismo, comes out. I've got to avoid those moments. Freitas needs to stay away from the ropes because that's when he's getting caught. And he's going straight back and he eats a right hand. When we spoke with him yesterday, we asked about his style. Good counter shot by Freitas and how he's not nearly as aggressive. I want to fight. If Brazil beats Argentina 1-0, it's still a win. It's forcing him to fight. A much better job of placing his punches here in round one. Diaz said, I cannot let my punches get smothered. They did there, chopping right from Diaz. But again, Freitas busier and more accurate. Push him to a side, push him to, to, a, to the other side. Nice stiff jab there by Diaz. Stiff jab by Freitas. Largely because Freitas is pinned on the ropes. And his lackluster win against Zahir Rahim a year ago, he mentally said it would be an emotional night for me. Guy from Brazil of a strong fan base in Connecticut. To see Popo. Diaz's watch he just continues to move forward. Freitas blocking a lot of that. Diaz opening up. And, and you can see Diaz definitely listened to his corner. As soon as he got Freitas against the ropes, he worked. Now Freitas goes back to work. We have an octane on the inside. See what Diaz is doing wrong? Round number three, scheduled for 12. Diaz. Can those things overcome Freitas' advantages in power and technique and experience? In fact, it's been Freitas who's been the busier to the body. Freitas goes to throw a punch. Diaz covers up, but his head and hands are in one position. Nice combination by Diaz scores to the head of Freitas. Freitas got tagged with a left as he tried to move away. There's a body shot from Diaz. The left and right. That's much more. Doesn't want Freitas right now to outbox him in the middle of the ring. So he wants to get him against the ropes where he can't move so he can do his punishment. Corrales has that great equalizer power in both hands. Diaz does not. Freitas trying to steal the round, but Diaz listens to Ronnie Shields and responds as well. What a round. Thing of beauty, but then in round three, he stayed in one place on the ropes. Just stop that. Well, he's doing the right thing, side to side movement, because when a guy's bending down and coming into you quite aggressively, meet him with those uppercuts because he's going to walk right into it. Freitas seems quite happy to be on the ropes. This is once we get to around seven or eight, we'll get an idea of where Freitas stands. This guy is a heavy bag. Remember all the combinations that you threw and just do the same thing in the ring. And Freitas seems content to stay in front of Diaz. The same pace as we had in the first three rounds. Right hand backing away by Freitas. This is where he's trying to steal the round. But Diaz is not letting him steal this round. Round number five, scheduled for six. And Diaz presents Freitas with plenty of counter-punching opportunities. But Freitas at lightweight has not been the puncher that he was at junior lightweight. Yo, we heard enough the punches a little bit, Lennox. What do they mean by that? Well, they're saying he's punching a bit too wide. Right now, he needs to shorten it up. And... Oh, here's, here's a good combination. Oh, Diaz stepped in with a combination and hurt Freitas. Freitas is hurt. He's trying to hold on for dear life. 
Good with right. the combination, and Freitas is hurt. Diaz walked through some big shots from Freitas to land that shot that hurt Freitas. Another combination by Diaz. Right hand to the chin. Good uppercut by Diaz. This is a situation where Diaz needs to go back to the body. That gym work that his trainer was telling him to do. As soon as he gets against the ropes like this, throw that combination that he's been throwing against the back. knockouts on his resume in the 31 wins. We talked about his lack of pure power, but a dividend for him. It has it. He's doing it in a good way because it's a power jab. It's a stopping jab. It's a driving jab. And Freitas tries that hook to the body. Diaz knows he wants Freitas against the ropes because he's had great results from that. Anytime you see a boxer grabs his trunks and pulls them down, he's always trying to... It just looks like Freitas is running out of gas here, man. Make him even more tired, punch him in the, in the stomach even more. Well, that stomach punches and he doesn't want to get hit. Difference for him as well. Diaz is a guy who kind of breaks your spirit over the course of the fight. You know that Diaz is one that does not. 24-7 has been an outstanding program chronicling the big fight next week between Oscar De La Hoya and Floyd Mayweather in stall or in still. Okay, Bob. I got it. 57-57. And Asselino Freitas running. Looked like he's trying to survive in there. And Diaz taking him apart. And another left hand. Diaz is money when Freitas is against the ropes. He's against the ropes. He was able to place good shots countering back. Definitely time for him to step the pace up. He, he's doing a good job right now. Question is, can he step up? A few rounds. Diaz misses with that roundhouse right. Counter shot by Freitas. Diaz has been down a couple of times in his career. And he responds with a left hand, trying to jump on Freitas. He got hit with a great uppercut, and that just meant woke him up. And... Right hand from Diaz. Just missed with the right there. Nice combination to the body. Freitas trying to steal the end of the round was hurt in the fifth round. Needs to be a little more life in Freitas' legs as we start the eighth. There's no give in Juan Diaz, physically. Being given the pass from Freitas, and that's the sense I'm getting, the way this fight is going. In, the, in order to stop Diaz, slow him down, you need to hit him. I didn't see too much power from Freitas yet. Only power I see is... Diaz's will. You have to separate him from his will with a knockout kind of a punch. Resume, what's your assessment so far for the baby bull? Test, and uh, you know, he just needs more of these type of fights, and he's doing well. Junior at the University of Houston downtown, political science major, wants to go to law school. He's trying to pass his boxing bar. He has to work harder to deal with you pushing that pressure against him and him trying to stay off the ropes. Diaz did a good move right there. Then he took a step to the side, give, gave him a different angle, and threw a different punch again. Left hand to the chin, scored by Diaz. Freitas. Getting very discouraged. And he gets oh. rocked back. Jake Lamada before him, those kind of pressure fighters that aren't big Oh, left hand fights. hurt Freitas as he rocked back into the ropes. They, they break the other guy's will to, to fight on, and it looks like that's what Juan Diaz is doing here. Right hand to the ear by Diaz for the 23-year-old from Houston. You understand? Oh, they stopped the, stop the fight. They stopped the fight. Freitas is quit in the corner on his stool. He doesn't believe he can go on. He's That's quit. it.
Therefore, the winner by TKO victory, the two-time world champion, and now the unified WBO and WBA lightweight world champion, Juan Babybull Diaz.